Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. <clears throat> this is uh, IPython 3, Python notebook, and a turtle swirl. I got this uh, from Pastebin after I saw it on the YouTube. And <clears throat> just to give a quick demonstration, I have, uh, let's minimize this so we can see the screens. Okay, so, uh, I <clears throat> Uh, next thing we want to do. I've already imported turtle. Shift enter. Turtle will clear a screen. It's now cleared. And now let's run the first instance of the uh, of the turtle swirl, which uh, we will do now. Shift enter to load. And you can see that um, the initial the initial turtle went left 90 and then started this uh, polygon shape this function here colon and then the angle 360 divided by n now n I don't know where oh for i in range okay so range uh, range is 0 to n turtle forward 50 and then turn right angle angle being 360 divided by n. Now the for i in range, um, I believe the n value is the 20. We'll get to that in a moment. Polygon i, turtle right. Now uh, I haven't figured out all of that yet, but I do want to show you what I've done. I've repeated the code and I commented out a little bit so I know what I'm doing. Uh, and I've also went ahead and did some, um, I don't know how to change the turtle shape. That would be something I'd like to find out. Uh, let's actually add that to TiddlyWiki. TiddlyWiki5. Uh, TiddlyWiki5. How do I create a new one? Let's see that. Sorry, I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to... I just edit. So I'll we'll call this uh, questions to answer. Oh, right here. Just rename that. Questions to answer in Python Turtle. How to set turtle to a different shape. And done. All right, so let's go back to our Perl Python swirl and Python. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I've already changed the shape, rather the size of the uh, turtle. Let's try that out. See what it looks like now. Uh, yes, uh, it restarted with all of the things I already had, but you can see the turtle is actually quite large now, uh, and we can maybe even change that in real time let's um, let's go with 10 ooh that's a big one uh, shift 10 let's see what happens yeah it's even bigger now almost impossible to see what's going on underneath it so we drop that back down to 2 it's probably busy working on this last command so it's not going to respond this is very um, these rules here suggest to me um, cellular automata and let's talk about cellular automata in turtle done and all right so it's busy creating the next uh, polygon now let's uh, rep this um, and I'm going to clear right here. Ah, right, I can just do and rep 7. Percent rep 7 should clear. Shift enter. Okay, now it's cleared. Now I do the same with rep 11. And that brings me up the code. It just copies it right down for me. Very nice. And for i in 3, 
here's the range. For i in range, it's 3 and 20. So this is the division. So if I, uh, if I shrink this down, I should get a tighter angle, or else a gent more gentler angle. And I'm going to whack this one out too to see what happens. This is, you know, this is the testing part, right? Play with these numbers. Control S. Notebook saved. Okay, and now Shift Enter to run. Let's hope I don't break it. Okay, so we can see that it didn't go all the way around. A. Um, and five times. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, that's the other question I want to know. Um, uh, can I write to the screen? And I've got a Python, IPython question. How do I create a new tit? There it is. Okay, that's, I don't like that. It's too, it's buried. New tiddler. Um, new tiddler is IPython questions. IPython three questions. Where are all the hotkeys? And yeah, I don't remember right now. And done. Okay, so. Uh, now we know that this this number here matches the number of polygons. So the first number, first number is the number of polygons. Polygons. Probably not the best way to do that, actually. And the second number, uh, second number is uh, well, it's not turtle forward. It's not turtle forward because turtle forward is 50. So what is the second number? 10. Maybe it's the angle. It's the angle. Could it be the angle? I don't know. So let's uh, let's see what happens. I'll go with the bigger angle, sixty, and I'm going to drop the clearer screen right in there as well just so I get a better picture of what's going on and shift enter let's see what happens I should get I should get a different angle right no I didn't but I did get something else. I got 60 polygons. So the initial, the first number, the first number is the initial, initial number of angles in the polygon. That's what it is. And second is the total number of polygons. Total number of polygons. <clears throat> this is how we learn, right? I love using IPython for this reason because it allows me to create notes in real time and see my results with um, Turtle. Fantastic tool. Well worth your time. Take a look at it if you're a CS teacher. Uh, IPython can be loaded from any server in the world so your students can be online in real time and interacting with you and creating their own Python notebooks. Thank you for watching and 
happy computing.